Oh dear. You come to enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? You know, I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. You're gonna try to use that crazy thing to fly? I'll be soaring like an eagle, or my name's not Charles Kinnear. I should be the first man swooping through this valley. Yes, I shall. I'd leap off now, only it seems like I need more adhesive to keep the wings together. I've concocted my own special formula since that store-bought stuff isn't strong enough. However, I can't abandon my machine to gather more materials. What kind of materials are you talking about, Charles Kinnear? I need a bunch of bird feathers. Doesn't matter what kind, along with a parcel of beaver hides to boil down, along with some red sage to make it all pliable. OK. I think I can find all that stuff. I'll be back, Charles. Because you leaping off that cliff is something I have to watch. Oh, they doubted dear Icarus, sir. Yes, they did! Hey, Kinnear. Oh, hello again, sir. Oh, you are kind. Thank you for bringing me these materials. I'll be cooking up a batch of adhesive in no time. Glad to be of service. You let me know when your machine's ready for your maiden voyage. Oh, I will indeed, sir. I'd like witnesses to the glory of man soaring through the air like an eagle. An eagle, sir! Oh, my name's not Charles Kinnear. It should only take a few hours. Come back later, my friend. The person who merely watches the flight of a bird gathers the impression that the bird has nothing more to think of than the flapping of its wings. As a matter of fact, this is only a very small part of its mental labor. Hmm. To even mention all the things a bird must constantly keep in mind in order to fly securely through the air would take the better part of a day. The bird has learned this art of equilibrium and learned it so thoroughly that its skill is not apparent to our sight. We only learn to appreciate it when we try to imitate it. And I... Charles Kinnear will now demonstrate here the miracle of flight. Into the wild blue yonder, Marston. Oh, dear. <laughs> 